I told you guys I'm not going to see that rubbish all back the next time you see me. And I was very sure. I was very sure about that. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adobe. If you're new here, thank you for. Uh, oh my God. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adobe. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining the moving train. If you're a returning subscriber, you're an OG. This is another vlog. I don't want to call it Vlogmas because I'm not doing Vlogmas. Again, this year I'm not doing Vlogmas. But yeah, this is another vlog. I just don't want the last one to be so long. So I'm continuing from here. So I'm doing like, it's going to be kind of like a maintenance vlog. And... Mom, me and Sharon are going out. We're traveling. We're going to Asaba for something. For we're going to a park in Asaba, actually. So I'm going to be carrying you guys along, showing you guys everything we're going to be doing. But first, I'm going to be making my hair. Today, today is hair day. So I've not washed it. I've not done anything. I just booked my appointment, and my appointment is for ten. Right now it's nine thirty. So I'm trying to rush through this intro, give you guys a tea and all of that before I start moving. Fit of the day is this random Scooby Doo shirt, a, uh, this bag, leggings. I see the leggings. Leggings and these slippers. <laughs> okay, so that's the fit of the day. And these nails, yeah, I fixed it for my convocation shoots, but they are press ons. I got them for 200 naira, and it's been almost two weeks on my nails, on my hands already. They have not moved. And I have like my nail, my actual nail acrylic appointment for Thursday. Today is Monday. These things have to fall out or I have to dissolve them. Let's just go. I'm talking too much and I'm sweating. So, bye. Today is the day that Sharon and I are going to the park in Asaba. I cannot talk too much because the cab guy is already waiting downstairs. But I will, you know, carry you guys along. So I actually have a lot of content to create. So I had to do makeup. I did the little no foundation routine. And I'm so happy because Hamata and finally decided to show up. So my makeup was not moving at all. Like it wasn't shaking. I wasn't sweating. None of that. So if you don't know, the journey from Oka to Asaba is not... It's not a lot. It's just about 45 minutes to an hour if you're using a private car. And Sharon and I used the cab, so we did not take we did not it did not take too long for us to get there. So this is the Miriam Babangida Leisure Park in Asaba, in case you want to know where this is. And yeah. Hi, we don't go here, guys. Who would have known? Okay, so hi guys, we just got here and that's the hostel where we we're supposed to stay. But they said we need to go and like check in at the reception. That's exactly what we're going to go and do. This place is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I am so happy that we eventually came. See Sharon, say hi to the vlog. Yeah, we're already upset and everything at the beginning, Sha, but everything is letting up back. Like I said, I just entered and saw that everywhere is giving picture vibes. Guys, best believe I'm about to take a few shots in here. Oh yeah, Ooh, looking cute, peyush. <laughs> so this place actually has a guest house, like a hotel, but that one is like more expensive. So Sharon and I just opted for the more affordable version of accommodation. So the hostel go um go for eight k, while the hotel goes for um thirty two thousand per night. So yeah. So you guys, we are in the hostels now. I'll give you guys a whole tour of the dress now. Where is your contract? Is this how you dress your bed? Is this how you dress secondary school? Oh, my nose is not running me. Hey. I'm more comfortable. You're not comfortable? Like dressing bed and being on school. I don't remember how we dressed. I don't remember how we dressed secondary school. I think in school then, it wasn't close to the wall. Yeah, there was no bed that was, there was no bunk that was hitting the wall. Was it was in the middle. Like, it was always in the middle. They used to use wall side as corner now. 
Are you serious? Because now we you to this in the world, then you, your corner will not be in between you and another person involved. When you can keep your legs. Why people share your corner? Jesus! Ha! Do you know that uh, if, let's say now, I'm an SS3 girl, and my corner is now that wall corner, like that wall corner is for everybody, every SS3 is. Listen, it's like it's not working. You can't feel it. We'll leave it on as we know. Let me give you guys a whole ass tour. So, yeah, we should we don't want to change our clothes so we can go and start all the activities. Change our clothes and go and start up. Yes. Okay, so this is what the place looks like. This is the entrance and it looks so amazing. See one of the rides over there. And that's where the, you know, all of that. So it's a really, really nice place. So this is me and Sharon just here taking snaps for... Uh, well, I might end up using your own. I don't know why my own is not looking fine. Uh, you guys see how everywhere looks. It looks too, 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 too pretty and full as I imagined actually. All right, so now that we're inside the, um, the park, we are going to, we decided to start with go-karts first so that we can do the driving before we are going to enter water. So that's what we are starting with. We are going to start with the go-karts, that's the driving. What? Swimming pool, okay? Like, swimming thing, like it's from... That's kayaking. It's water, air. So what do you guys think? Should we do the kayaking first? Oh no, we are already wearing this group. I know. Yeah. We will not waste time, they're just 20 minutes. 20 minutes, like two rounds. So we are going to do the kayak, the go cart thing. You guys are so excited! Oh my god! Sorry, breaking transmission. You know, it's really crazy how it's really crazy how life is. As I'm currently editing that video, I'm I'm watching, and I, I at that point where I said, "Oh, I'm so excited to go and do the go kart." Little did I know what was about to be for me. But you guys will not understand this tea until you go ahead and finish watching the next part. Then you will know what happened next. As I'm editing this video, I just I'm just feeling a little bit nostalgic because like I did not know that was going to happen. Let me not talk too much. Let's just let's just see. I hope they have lifeguard here or back and stories. So this is the lake, the mini lake. Sharon, let's go inside. This is the lake. I think I like what this place looks like. So they gave us this hair thing to cover up our hair for the go-karts. Put the put the helmet now. Yes. Okay. 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 Understand what happened, so I'm just going to give you the tea, right? I was I was riding the go kart very slowly, as you people saw. Sean was moving faster than faster than me on that thing, but my hair, my hair got stuck in the engine. That's why I was screaming like that. My hair got stuck at the back of the engine, and then the like it got tangled inside the engine as the go kart was moving. You know like kind of dra was now dragging my hair like dragging a lot of my hair from the roots and my hair now cut from the roots so that's exactly what happened there it happened so fast the video would have been longer but the person i sent to video me because of the way things were happening she had to just stop so that she find out ah, what happened is she okay that kind of thing so that's why you cannot exactly see what happened after i screamed do you get and you get clearly saw that this hair i just made this hair just a previous day before that hour pack movements so you can imagine how painful the dragon would have been i see my hair pulled from the roots 
this will all make sense just give it time and frankly you guys know how passion twist how light passion twist is so it was the breeze breeze that kind of pushed the hair back into the engine that's exactly what happened you know this all, all of this will make sense in a few minutes just keep watching so at this point sharon was filming she still thought it was funny at this point we just thought that it would i only lost one hair i was not even finding it funny when she was filming we thought i only lost one hair until the supervisor guy started bringing out more hair from the engine and i started wailing i was crying i was screaming hey you guys like sharon had to even stop filming so after all the crying and everything this is the point where sharon started readjusting my makeup when i said that I'm not going to end it here because I wanted to go inside. I was so sad, eh? but I said no. I cannot waste my money. I must finish all I came here to come and do. Plus, frankly, if I went inside, I would have just been thinking about my hair, so I needed a form of distraction. Okay, so this doesn't look like someone who just had an accident. Don't let your haters know that you're down. Yeah, the, the hair loss was around this side, but guess what? It'll go back. What do I always say? It's just hair. It'll go back. But don't worry, it's going to grow back, it's just hair, okay? It's going to grow back. But now I'm thinking if to cut everything or if to just wing it like this. What do you guys think? Anyway, just change my clothes, let's take the next set of pictures. Yeah. I don't know, you see what nearly killed you? <laughs> where? Yeah, your brother, where you nearly drowned you? Guy, I swear. <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh, it's time for the um, kayaking. It's time for kayaking. This is the biggest. Um, artificial lake in in Nigeria or Africa, I don't know the one but we're about to do kayaking in this place right now with my bald head <laughs> with my bald head, so we just want to change the changing room first to our kayaking feet so yeah so this is my feet ha, this is their water thing okay so well, I'm already tired. The headache from the trauma I had on this head is already setting in. Has already setting in fact. Like it's pain. My head is paining me badly. Now I don't know what to do. I'm just thinking if I should cut my hair. Like if I should cut the whole hair, or if I should just start growing it, like growing it, like growing it back like this. Sharon has change her clothes. I'm so tired. I'm also ashamed to show you guys. Anyway, maybe I'll put it on the screen. What happened to my head? I'm so exhausted. I think we should call it a day. Like, this is so much stress for just a girl. I'm just a girl. I'm just a little girl. I had a better time during my IT, in my IT zoo. Because this zoo is so damn empty. All the cage is empty. I don't recommend. What is this one? I don't recommend. What is this? It's so empty. Where is the cheetah now? Uh -uh. This zoo is dead as hell, guys. Dead as fuck. But yeah, let's go and do important things, man. This place is so dead. But this place is so dead. So empty. What the hell? So now it's time to go into the sky tower. Me and Sharon are truly, truly exhausted already, but we want to make use of all the money we paid. So imagine we not let us go, guy. After my accident, <laughs> I think we would not go. We have wasted money. So we're going to the sky tower. So we're gonna see. Apparently, they say we'll be able to see the whole place like very clearly. That's what I'm going to do now. We're going to to the tenth floor. That's where everything's happening. Don't shake this thing. Let's not hear boom. I beg. Yes, ma'am. We're on the 10th floor. Okay, we're on the 10th floor. That was pretty fast. That was fast though. It's all like the movies. Mm -hmm. But those movies is to show. Wow. I'm so happy we came. Yes. You guys see? We're at the Sky Tower. Oh my god. Oh wow, see the view. Let me show you guys. This is what the Sky Tower. This is what's like. Let me take my phone out here. Okay. I have to be careful. Okay, this is what it looks like. Wow. It's just giving us like an like giving showing us exactly what everywhere looks like from here. Wow. Check this out. Wow, that is nice. See all the games and stuff. 
Wow, this is the largest lake. A place for what? Now for what go play? Man. So the place that I had my accident. Yeah, the go kart place. Not bad. Still not bad. Okay, let me see how much this is. Really good job. You guys, I'm just randomly remembering my hair. I'm feeling sad about it. Anyway, I just have to tell. Maybe I'll just tell my mom. She'll hear what she'll say. She'll feel so sad too. But yeah, I'm hungry. I've not eaten all day. So I think we're just going to go and do that now. Sean, let's go and do this kayaking before it gets dark. So we've still not done the kayaking because they said that this other place is closed by 6 and it's already past 6. Keep your phone here, take us together. Now, guys, it's our turn for kayaking. Put your leg here, sit down here. Okay, me and come. Come over here. I hope he's not sleeping. I'm not doing it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Boy, you have to keep your phone. Hey, okay. Let's go deep end, I beg. I don't want to go deep end. Let's have a small swing. and tired we had a very long day a very long traumatizing day but yeah we are done we want to go and buy water or look for something to eat But only this one you can see. The rest is inside. Yeah, see another one here. So this is one, two. Then there's five more. So seven of my hair pulled out. I'm currently going through the worst. Like I'm having severe headache. I've taken Panadol, I've had my bath, wiped my makeup, everything. But I'm just tired. And I just, I genuinely just feel like this shouldn't have even happened, but I'm, um, honestly, I feel bad because I forgot to even thank God, like, on the spot when it happened, I forgot to even be like, okay, God, thank you, that nothing else happened, like, thank God it was just this and all that, I was just busy crying, I was busy crying that my hair caught, hey, for that, and I even forgot that it could have actually been worse, and I, you guys saw, like I just made my hair yesterday, like I just made the hair yesterday, so obviously the pain and everything and it still like pulled out oh, I don't know how to explain how I felt today to be honest but I'm happy that I've come to the realization that it could have been worse this is, this is probably the least that could have even happened like and I'm thankful that you know it's just hair, it will grow back but anyway like now many hours later I'm feeling the after effect my camera is dirty. I'm feeling the after effects of the whole thing. Like right now, it's now I'm feeling it. I wasn't really feeling it before when I was moving up and down. But now that I've had my bath and I've settled, my head is banging. I was talking to my mom. I mean, she was not happy and everything, but you know, like we're just thankful that nothing, hel nothing else, uh, nothing else went wrong. Like, life is honestly just deeper, deeper than it seems. Honestly, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just so, 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 like, let me not even talk too much. Let me just sleep first. Tomorrow will cost me from where we stopped. Okay, so good morning from the Bowed Babe and Sharon. 
Mm-hmm. Can you guys see Clara now? We will show you Clara picture later. I don't know, but um, now I'm about to, I'm about to go and brush. We are leaving today. I feel a bit lighter this morning, but yeah. I have here, here, inside, inside, inside. About seven. So I'm gonna brush my teeth. Yeah, sure I'm about to go back. We are packing. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the of the bathroom. I think they really did a good job in this place, providing this kind of accommodation for people that for the middle class. <laughs> <laughs> because in the guest house. That is like more expensive. The guest house is about thirty. <laughs> the guest house is about thirty-two thousand naira per night. But here it's eight thousand naira per night. It was six on the website, but because of Christmas season, they now increased it. Okay, I'm supposed to give you guys a tour of this place. So this is like what it looks like. It's like a quad type thing. People are hanging their clothes. I don't know why. Um, these are rooms and stuff. And this is my challenge room and an extra room here. So I'm going to the bathroom to brush now. And by the way, Hamatan just Hamatan just recently hit. So you know what that means? I can't believe I'm bowed. Yeah, so you know what that means? Um everybody would have to take their moisturizing and everything very seriously. As you can see, I just moisturized my lips. Nothing serious, just the bathroom, and it's pretty clean too. And there's hot water and everything that you think you need. The bathroom, I cannot enter this show you guys because I've already had my bath, so I don't see why I'm doing that. But believe me when I say it's actually really neat. Yeah, it's actually like very, very, very nice. I want my tripod. <sighs> you guys, I'm having such a tired morning. A lot has happened already. I think I'll calm down to just you guys. Let me just brush. Oh, I think I was born sun burnt me a bit yesterday after all the pictures we took. But yeah, today I'm feeling a lot more of the pain. Sure. You know how my hair pulled out like with force, with a lot of force. And yesterday I didn't feel it because of how fast it was. But today I'm feeling all of the all of the pain. And here is Sharon calculating all the money she has. <laughs> it's true guys we didn't do we didn't we didn't finish all our games because of time we didn't i can't really want us to do archery <laughs> but we're not able to do that don't worry there'll be better days better days ahead good morning this is the next day i i'm feeling better today and now i'm going to go and get my nails done I have my nail appointment today so i'm just gonna get my christmas nails done if you're on my instagram you know that i was talking about how i wanted to take a break off off of acrylics and i did just that i did not have acrylics on my nails for a whole last one month plus and now i feel like obviously since i've given my nails enough time it's time to go and get christmas nails done the nails you guys saw yesterday was just random press ons. I bought for 200 naira on the street and I just got those ones done for my convocation shoot, not knowing it was going to last for almost two weeks. So, but still, I still kept my word and did not do acrylics. I told myself that if at all I even want to do anything, it's going to be random press ons, and that is exactly what I did. So, right now, I am going to. <sighs> Get my nails done i was supposed to have my lashes done today um but i'm not i don't think i'm feeling it anymore i don't think i want to do that anymore actually i wasn't going to pay for it it was going to be like kind of like pr i don't know if they do pr for services like that but it's, it was supposed to be free so i would advertise it for her but i don't think i'm i'm feeling feeling like i don't think i feel like having lashes on this period because I'm so so cry I just cry so and those lashes really really used to irritate my eyes 
so especially when there's water on it so i don't think it's something i want to put myself through this period so maybe i might just have to pass on that she was supposed to reach out to me today if she does i'm i might just say okay but if she forgets i will not remind her that's just exactly what is going to happen i'm going to remind her i'm just going to forget about it which is i i genuinely want to forget so yeah so that i'll not be the one to post because i've been one i've been the one saying oh i'm not free today i'm not free today i don't want her to now text me and i'll now say oh i don't think i'm interested again do you get so i want her to forget so that it's not be that oh she forgot and i left Oka. Okay. that's what i'm praying for so yeah so let me just go and get the nails done so i can come back early and continue editing the videos i have to edit <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Um, this is the next day. Um, after I made my news yesterday, so I'm going to the hospital today to go and get my head checked. I'm supposed to have done this since, but I was just trying to watch myself to see how I was feeling and everything. But I, I am going right now to a hospital to see a doctor. Let me be sure that everything is okay with me. Maybe someone someone recommended I do an x-ray. I don't know yet. So when I get there and I talk to the doctor, they let me know what I'm supposed to do. So this is the outfit of the day. My scarf, my bag, shirt, jeans, and all of that. So yeah, that's all. Bye. Just go to the hospital and hopefully there's a doctor on seat. This is my first time coming to Life Hospital, but a couple people always say that it's like one of the best hospitals. So yeah. So <clears throat> I eventually went to the hospital and got everything checked. Um I don't have anything much happening. You know, like I was, I, w I was because I'm making this video like probably three weeks later, just to tell you guys what happened at the hospital. So I did like, <clears throat> I I got checked. I couldn't film that because you know confidentiality purposes. But I got checked, and the doctor checked my head, and you know did all of that. But you know he says I don't have anything to be worried about really. That it might just be the pain, and then they'll prescribe some painkillers for me. And that if the pain should like persist, I might have to do an MRI. But we should watch it for like one week or two and see that. But it should go away in one week. That's what he said. Uh, and that's what happened actually. The pain stopped after like a week or so, like with the help of the drugs anyway. So now I don't have anything going on with my head. It's just the spaces that are there. But it's going back. This is like many weeks later. See one in front. See the one that happened in front is coming out back. So this is like three weeks later this is literally the end of the year <laughs> today is 30th <laughs> it's crazy i'm making this video right now but it's just because i forgot to say what happened at the hospital so i remembered right now i said let me do it so <clears throat> the hair is growing back pretty quickly i will take out these braids on the 30th of january hopefully so that you know by then i should be able to see how much damage you know was done like how much damage i have on my head to so, you know what exactly i'm going to do from here like the next decision the next line of action am i going to cut the hair am i going to just continue growing it out because my mom says i shouldn't cut it but you know it's my decision at the end of the day so like whatever i notice i'll just let everybody know that okay you know i think i'm going to cut this hair but from the look of things my hair is growing out really quickly the ones in the middle have come out a lot actually so i'll probably do that thing that the tiktok girlies are talking about you know cloves and some oils and shit like hair growth stuff probably just have to take care of it like more than i usually would and um you know see how it does so by january 30th i'll decide what i want to do so it it, it all depends on what it's looking like when i take out these braids do you understand so let's just continue with the vlog so guys today i got back to lagos actually i'm in an uber right now going home i'm very happy i'm finally finally done with everything that has to do with oka 
I am so happy to be back to Lagos and, you know, get my life started. But first things first, we're going to get into the Christmas spirit. I'm still upset about my hair and everything, but yeah, na smalls, na smalls. So I think I have said every single thing that happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It took a lot for me to come and tell you the story just one week after it happened. Okay, it's almost two weeks, but it took a lot for me. So please, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm back to Lagos. As you can see, everything about school is over. Like I said in my previous vlog, that was the last, that was the last vlog, the university series vlog. So now I'm back in Lagos fully to start my life. Yeah. So after this vlog comes the Christmas vlog. So I'm going to be ending this vlog here and starting a new one just immediately. I'm going to start filming a new one just as soon as I end this one. Yeah, so after this video, you guys should expect expect a Christmas vlog, which I'm a little excited about, to be honest. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up leave me comments share with your friends pray for my hair to grow back yeah i'll see you in my next video are you hound dog tired singing all night long